Hello, lovelies. It's Sabi here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Sabi's Delete. It's been a while. I hope you are all keeping well. So, today I want to take you through how I make my crunchy mandazis. KD, they call it uh, kangumu or KDF, though mine is not kangumu. It's moist inside. So, I will add my margarine on self raising flour. Today I'm using self raising flour. The baking powder it's added already, but it doesn't have sugar. So I'll rub it until I get the breadcrumbs texture like. Then I'll add sugar, give it a good mix, add a lemon zest and a crushed cardamom. Then I'll give it a good mix. Then create a well. Add egg one by one. I will use two of them. Then uh, I will add my mala. I'm using mala. I will add mala little by little as I need. If you don't have mala, you can make it on your own. You can add some uh, lemon on your milk, on your fresh milk. But the mala is buttermilk. We call it mala in Kenya. So here we are not looking for a soft dough. So I will not over knead it since I want my mandazis to be crunchy. This consistency is just okay. Grease your bowl and place your dough inside the bowl. Then cover with a kitchen towel and let it rest for at least one hour. One hour is gone. You can divide your dough into three or two sections. Depends with the the size of uh, dough you have. Then roll it flat, not so thin. Then you'll cut it into your desired shape. Make sure you cover the remaining dough. The ones you're not working with with a kitchen towel. Guys, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. Help me grow this channel. Like and share. Leave your comment in the comment section below. You can try this. It's a simple recipe. Try it and bring your feedback. I will be glad to know. At this point, turn on your stove and heat your pan and oil. We will not fry the mandazi in a hot oil. So your oil should be on medium, medium low. Yeah, we will work with the low medium heat. So we will repeat this process until all the mandazi are done. Rolling out and cutting them. My oil is ready, so I'll go ahead and uh, test my oil. This is how I want it. And uh, that is the size of the dough I want. I don't want my mandazi to be too fat. I want it to cook well inside and out. So that is why I start with the low heat 
and then I will add it to the medium to enable mandazi to cook inside and outside. I will continue with the process while my mandazi is on the fryer. Once it has risen up, just flip it on the other side. Don't wait for it to turn brown. This flipping will go on continuously so that the mandazi don't get burned and will cook well in the inside. Like now it started browning and I'm looking for golden brown. I think this is the right color I want. So I will go ahead and remove them. The first batch is ready. It's well done. And crunchy. You can even tell from the picture and even the sound. So before before you add in other bunch, reduce your heat or rather just turn it off then dip your mandazis then again light your, your stove. Oil tends to get hotter by the time you remove all your mandazis. So it's better to turn your stove off or if you are doing jiko you can even take your pan out of the jiko then you return it back that is how you will achieve the crunchiness i hope i'm clear there kindly don't forget to subscribe for those who are new if it's your first time here, kindly consider subscribing. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much. I don't take it for granted. Watch the video up to the end. At this point, all our mandazi is ready and thank you for watching this video up to the end look at the mandazi so lovely let's see how the inside looks crunchy and well done inside tastes nice the lemon zest, you can feel the lemon zest at the same time you feel the cardamom. You see the outer part? This mandazi are great. So this is the second day. I'm still having my mandazi and my tea. The mandazi feels like it was just cooked today. It's still crunchy. And yummy. This mandazi can stay fresh for five days or even one week. Just keep them in a tight container or you can keep them in a ziplock to keep the moist. And it will stay fresh like that. It was nice hanging out with you guys. Thank you.
Go try this recipe and bring back your feedback. See you in my next video.